members of the fifth cohort of Directors Education and Accreditation Program of state-owned enterprises, statutory bodies, have been awarded with their accreditation. This latest cohort includes directors from key institutions such as the Child Protection Authority, Grenada Tourism Authority, Planning and Development Authority, Grenada Airports Authority and various government ministries. This brings the total number of certified directors in Grenada to 125. Ronald Peters, Deputy Chairperson of the Integrity Commission, shared that with this role in leadership, good governance must be exercised. Governance very often is expressed as being good governance, but with or without the qualifier good, governance itself is understood to be for the good of. All right. Governance is imbued with honesty, decency, and generosity in service of the entity being governed. Governance is not just about rules, regulations, and procedures. It is about leadership, integrity, and the ability to steer the organization towards sustainable success. It is important that those who serve in public life do so with utmost integrity and are guided by what has become known as the Nolan Principles. Peter said that there are two key requirements as directors. As directors, you need to understand these responsibilities and I hope the training that you received would help you to navigate the dilemmas that can arise from the exercise of those responsibilities. In addition to the training you received over the three days, the two bits of advice which will be helpful in navigating the possible dilemmas. One, directors must be knowledgeable about the legislation creating the statutory body on whose board they serve. And two, as a board, you should proactively engage with your line minister periodically. Yeah? One of the aims of this engagement should be to build respect and trust. Minister for Finance, Honorable Dennis Cornwall, delivered the keynote address. He said that government is keen on delivering on its commitment to good governance. Critical to the success of these bodies is ensuring that they are properly governed, including by having in place fit for purpose board of directors. It is no secret that when we inherited, the, when we came into office, we inherited a situation where many of the current directors who serve on boards of statutory bodies and state-owned enterprise have not had the requisite training, nor are they fully aware of the fiduciary duties and other responsibilities that they are supposed to be undertaken. That approach to governance of statutory bodies and state-owned enterprise should not be allowed to continue in that manner. We are committed to doing things differently and, of course, better in this regard. And you are are the pioneers of this change. Now, now that you are trained and certified, you need to lead from the front in improving the overall performance of the bodies on which you serve. Interim President Director Denisha Daniel reported on the progress made towards the formation of the Grenada Association of Accredited Directors. The association will be a platform to ensure that directors can network and develop themselves. The Grenada Association of Accredited Directors, or GAAD for short. As the interim president, I'm excited to share with you our progress for this important initiative. The formation of the Grenada, accredited, the Grenada Association of Accredited Directors reflects a growing recognition that effective corporate governance is essential for the sustainable growth and development and the success of businesses, including statutory bodies in Grenada. By bringing together all the accredited directors, we aim to create a platform for networking, knowledge sharing, and capacity building. This collective effort will undoubtedly contribute to raising the overall standard of corporate governan governance practices in our island. We've made significant strides in the recent months. A draft constitution is currently being reviewed by the committee members and awaiting review by a legal team to ensure that it aligns with our association's objectives and adherence to the laws of the land. Additionally, we've established subcommittees to focus on critical areas such as governance, 
ethics, policies, education, and finance. These dedicated teams are working diligently to contribute to developing the strategies and guidelines that will support the association's mission. Our goal is to launch the association before the end of the year, 